Hello, guys. Can you hear me? All right. Cool. Cool. Jackie, how about you? Can you hear me? Jackie, can you hear me now? Yes. Hey, Ismael, can you hear me now? Ismael? All right, well, um, let's look at what we have here. Remember yesterday we discussed these questions kind of because we were in a rush now we have three different 
types of things that we're going to talk about today the simple present simple past and the present perfect so let's go to the next page do you have your books Okay, Jackie. Andres, you should say, not me. And you, Ismael, do you have your, your book, man? Okay. Well. While we wait to see if Ismail is going to come on the internet, let's look at this. Simple verbs, the grammar chart. Simple verbs for completed actions or permanent situations. Question, do you all see a small arrow on the screen? Do you see the white arrow? Right here, it's on the it's on the book. Yes. All right, cool. Well, I know I can't hear you, but I would like to I would like for you to listen and to repeat. What kind of music do you listen to? Guys? Are you repeating? Let's see. Andres and Jackie, unlock your mics. Unlock your microphone. All right, Andres, I see you. Jacqueline. Can you hear me, teacher? Teacher, can you hear me? Can you hear me?
Hello? Okay. Can you can you hear me now? Okay, so sorry. Look, there was a problem. Luis entered the platform. You know Luis, the receptionist, right? Okay, so he entered the platform and he took away my access to the account. Um, so I was wondering, like, why is it not working? But uh, I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Uh, Nick De, Jackie, and Andres, I unlock your microphones. Can you please activate them, please? Um, if, if you look where, where my video is, there's supposed to be two buttons. One is a camera and what is a microphone. Okay, okay. Jackie, what happened to yours? Andres, Nikte? Hello. Andres, can you activate your microphone? Hi. Nikte? Hello. Hello, Nikte. All right, uh, look, I recommend that, okay, okay, Andres, I understand. I recommend that you put on your headphones because if you have your microphone on while another person is speaking, then the noise from the speaker is going to go to the microphone. It's going to sound like an echo. All right, so just listen and repeat. If you have your microphone on, then just um, say it wherever you are. All right. Are you ready, Jackie Nikte? Yes. Yes. All right. What kind of music do you listen to? What kind of listen? What kind of music do you listen to? I love Latin music. I listen to it a lot. I love Latin music. I listen to it a lot. Very good. Now, what tense is this? Simple. The simple what? Present. Simple present, yes. Everything on the left is simple and everything on the right is continuous. The difference between si uh, simple and continuous is that simple is not with verb ing. Continuous has the verb ing. All right, so repeat after me. Have you ever lived in another country? Have you ever lived in another country? No, I've never lived anywhere else. No, I've never lived anywhere else. Nice. What did you do for your last birthday? What did you do for your last birthday? I went home and had a big party. I went home and had a big party. Nice. All right, now continuous verbs for ongoing actions or temporary situations. What kind of music are you listening to currently? What kind of music are you listening to currently? Very good. Now, if you notice, currently always goes at the end of the sentence. Currently goes at the end. So one more time, what kind of music are you listening to currently? 
What kind of music are you listening to currently? I'm listening to a lot of Latin jazz right now. I'm listening to a lot of Latin jazz right now. Very good. How long have you been living here? How long have you been living here? I've been living here for five years. I've been living for uh, five years. What were you doing at this time yesterday? What were you doing at this time yesterday? I was sitting on a bus. I was sitting on a bus. All right. <clears throat> so now let's go over here. Do you all see the whiteboard? Can everyone see the whiteboard? Yes, yes. All right. Now, it's very for me, it's very difficult to draw on a computer. It's even more difficult to draw in person. So if it's ugly, don't laugh. Okay, that is the best line I can make. So check this out. We have simple and we have the continuous. Now, the main difference is the continuous is verb ing. Simple, no? Now, the simple is usually used for completed actions or permanent situations. Remember that completed actions or permanent situations. That is a simple. So if I say yesterday I ate tacos, that is a completed actions. I'm not eating tacos right now. I ate tacos yesterday. It's complete. Now, I can also say I am a doctor. That is a permanent situation. I am a teacher. That is a permanent situation. That is what I train. That's what I took education for. All right. Now, that, that is a different, the difference between the simple verbs and the continuous is that continuous are ongoing or temporary. Ongoing means that they happen repeatedly again and again and again. For example, I'm exercising at night, every night, Monday, then again, Tuesday, then again, Wednesday. It's ongoing, ongoing, happening again and again. And it can also mean that it is temporary. Um, I was working at another school. I was working at another school. I worked at the other school for one year. It was temporary. All right. So let's write that down over here. If you have a notebook, please take notes.
All right, so let's look at the simple. The simple. Let's begin with the present. All right. Tell me something that defines you. That defines you in the simple present. Please write it in the chat pod. For example, I am a teacher. That's something that defines me. I, I love green mole. Tell me two things that define you or about you. Yeah, Nikta, that's fine. I'll see you tomorrow, Nikta. Have a nice evening. Andres, Jackie, Ismael, I'm waiting for you. Oh, nice, nice. Jackie is a student, okay. Jackie loves to sleep. Very good. Ismael, where are you, man? Yes, sleeping is the best. Jackie. If you could sleep how many hours you want to, how many hours would you sleep every day? All right, nice. I like, he's my, I like painting, but very good. You like to paint for real, man? <laughs> oh my god jackie that's really good you're definitely asian andres you're, you're like to paint for him or for the girls <laughs> oh that's cool ismael Oh my God, Andres. All right, well, let's move on. Now, I want you to tell me something that you did this week or yesterday. For example, yesterday I ate Maruchan. I ate Maruchan. Oh my God, he's my. You guys are geniuses. That's why you sleep so much.
Tell me something you did yesterday. Oh my God, it's nice. Yes, everybody, tell me something you did yesterday. Take or took. Nice. Very good, Ismail. You took pictures? What did you take pictures of? Nice. Ismail took some pictures for his page. Beautiful. Andres. Andres saw Milagro in La Celda. You cried, man. Why? It's really sad. Wow. The Lagrin Celda. What is it about? Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, those topics are usually very tearjerker material. All right, well, let's continue. Tell me about some of your experiences. Remember, for experiences, we usually use the present perfect, for example. I've eaten in Suntory once. All of these are about some experiences. I've been to La Roqueta once this year. I've been to Coyuca three times this year. I've eaten in Suntory once. Can you guys tell me some of your experiences? It can also be experiences you've never done. For example, I've never been to Barra Vieja.
Andres, Ismael, Jackie, I want one example from each of you. That's not simple, my friend. That's continuous. Well, maybe we can use that example when we are on the continuous. Oh, Ismael, you've never had a girlfriend. Nice, nice. That's a good one. It's good, Ismael. The only thing girls do is take your energy. And hit you. You've never been a bad boy? Nice, nice. I wish I could say the same. Come on, come on, Miss Flores, we're waiting for you. Yes, he's my girlfriends are no good, man. They will destroy your life. Right, Jackie? <laughs> nice. Jackie, did you go shopping? Or just to look? Nice, rich girl. The rich girl has entered the chat. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna type it for you, Jackie. <laughs> All right, now, that is it for the simple. If you notice, if you notice, we have we have three different times. We have three different times. We have the A. We have. B and we have C. A is the present, B is the past, C present perfect. Now let's move along to the continuous form. Oh yeah, if you hear a lot of noise in my from me, please tell me. I have crazy family. We are like 20 people and um, they are very, very ratchet. Very, very loud. So if you hear any noise, please tell me. I can't hear it because I have the mic the, the headphones in. But if you hear noise, tell me and I will go and tell them, hey, shut up through the window or something, all right? All 
Okay, so very easy. You know, if you have a notebook, please take notes. This is, these notes are very simplified. They will make your life easier. So the continuous form is used to express an ongoing action. That means it happens repeatedly again and again and again, and also a temporary action. You know, now some students say, teacher, what is temporary? Well, that depends on you. For some people, one month is temporary. For other people, years are temporary. All right, so you are the one who gets to decide. If you think it is temporary, use the continuous. If you think it is permanent, use the simple. But you are the one who gets to decide what you want to express. <clears throat> so let's continue. Let's see, what is something you have been doing um, every night? Every night, every night. For example, I'm working in the evening. That is something I've been doing lately. I'm working in the evenings. My grandparents are watching TV for hours every day because they can't go out. <clears throat> so please use the present continuous. I'm in the friends. <laughs> Ismael. That is that is um it sounds it sounds very harsh, but it, that is a permanent action. <laughs> Jackie's so sad. I'm sleeping too early, okay. Yes. Jackie, when are you checking your email? A, all day or at night, in the morning? Very good. Beautiful. And my friend Ismail says he's I'm staying home. <clears throat> Very nice. Now this can be a temporary situation or it can be an ongoing situation, but either way, it's understandable. Andres, I don't know if you sleep too early every day or if this is temporary, but what I am understanding is that it is temporary. Jackie, I'm checking my email in the evening. I don't know if you check your email in the evening every day for all your life, but what I understand is that it is temporary or it is something that you are doing frequently. Ismael, well, because you said, you gave us a little bit of context because of the coronavirus, so I understand that it is something temporary. Do you like to stay at home, Ismael? No, me neither, man. It, it's very, it's very bad. It's too hot. I want to go to the beach. Too bored. 
Yes. Well, hopefully this thing goes away quickly so we can go back to our normal lives. <clears throat> All right. So now that is the simple present. Now I want you to give me an example using the simple past. You prefer to go to school? <laughs> you prefer to go to school than to stay at home? Wow. Yes, you are, you guys, I, I have two assumptions. Either you really like school or you really hate your house. <clears throat> when I was in school, I used to hate going to school when I was your age. I'm like, mom, I don't want to go to school. I want to stay home. No, arreglate, arreglate. Okay, mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, Andres, I'm worried about you, man. You're in the airport. Are you wearing a mask? No? What? Demanda. Sue them, sue them. <laughs> Why, man? Do you need a mask? I have a lot of masks. Man, no, who says that? <laughs> what? That means that you're going to tragar todo el virus. You gotta cover your mouth, man. What? <laughs> they want the government wants us to die. They want us to get sick. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I, you know, today I went to Electra and I saw the a sign. The sign said Solo usa cubreboca si presenta síntomas. Only use a mask if you have symptoms. I said, what? Then why do nurses and doctors use masks? You know, I really think that they want us to get infected because it will benefit them. We will pay for the medicine. The old people will die. And we are going, we are forced to buy a lot of things so we can, I don't know, man, it's, it's crazy. I am one of those people that believe the government is trying to, to benefit from our chaos, but I don't know, that's just my idea. One moment. Look, let me show you the mask that I have. This mask right here is one of those masks that you can use 
like 20 times. All you have to do is wash it. The, the material is the same fabric as um, for surgeons, what they use when they are going to open your body. But it doesn't work, man, really. So I, I spend my money for nothing. I need I need to get them formed, man. You know, one thing that worries me is that even if we use the mask. It's, it, even if we use a mask, we can receive the the virus through our eyes, and I mean that's a big problem because I mean I wear I wear my glasses when I go in public, but I mean the glasses have like little places where you can go. Um, if you want to, I can ask my friend. He sells he sells these masks right here. Um, for 80 pesos, but you can wash it. You can use it 20 times, 30 times. Do you want me to ask? Really? Okay. I, I, I will ask him and I will tell you. All right, I, I sent him a message, and yes, th definitely with really hot water, and I have this disinfectant, I put it in the water too. Okay, but let's continue back to the lesson. Um, now, we use the present continuous, now I want us to use the past continuous. So this is my question for you. What were you doing yesterday at 12 p.m. For example, me, I was washing the dishes. Everybody tell me what you were doing at 12 p.m. Oh yes, look, <laughs> look at my, my fancy chair. Okay, very good, very good. Ismael was getting up. Andres was working like a slave. And Jackie was doing, oh my God, capital letters. Jackie was doing homework. Nice. Very good examples. And now, I want you to tell me 
about a habit you started recently. A habit you started recently, right? Something like this. I've been working out for four, oh no, not four, for three months. I've been working out for three months. That's one of my new habits. I've been eating a lot of avocado. Andres, Jackie, Ismael. Nice, nice. He's been watching movies. Ismael's been playing Call of Duty. Which Call of Duty? Black Ops 3? Black Ops 4? Jackie, the good girl. I've been studying. Hey, the the Call of Duty mobile is nice. Really, I have to I have to check it out. I love I love Call of Duty. Whenever I go to, I don't I don't have a a console. Um, but I used to in the United States. I used to play on Call of Duty all the time. And, um, but whenever I go to Plaza de la Tecnología, I always say, hey, um, give me give me Call of Duty. Because I, lo I love the game. It, it, I think it's my favorite game. Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and um, what else? Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and Mortal Kombat. Call of Duty Warfare, like modern modern warfare. Nice, nice. Battle Royale. Yeah, that's true. Well, guys, now let's go back to the lesson. So here, it already has the answers, but not all of them are correct, all right? So, Ms. Jackie Chan, could you please turn on your microphone and read the instructions? Complete the questions and answers. Use the simple or continuous word of where in the present past of present perfect tense practice with a partner. Very good. Now it says you have three options: present past, present perfect, and they can either be in the simple and the continuous. Remember, the continuous is ing. But how do you know? How do you know? when to use what when do i use the present when do i use the past well you have to pay really close attention to the time expressions and remember what i told you yesterday if the question is in the present your answer should be in the present question in the past answer in the past etc etc 
only if you have actually only if you have actually for example look at number four Oh my god my lines are ugly but <clears throat> you get the point so number one number one jackie could you assist me please i will be a and you be b all right so jackie who do you admire the most? I admire my grandfather. He's, he taught me a lot when I was growing up. Very good. Jackie. Have you ever met anyone famous? No, but last year I saw a TV star on the street. We we have both wait. No. No, not exactly. We are both waiting. But it says last year. We were Yes. Wait. We were wait. Wait. Oh, what is waiting waiting yes we were both waiting in line for ice cream it's continuous yes nice so remember right here it has the word last last is always what jackie past simple past simple beautiful past. So, when did you last get a good workout? Yesterday, in fact, I was lifting weights when you called me last night beautiful beautiful all right and four what do you do for a living actually I'm not working right now. I'm looking for a job. I've been looking, looking for a job for six months, but I but I haven't find the past found um very good all right now uh Time expression lately, the adverb lately, this will always be the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous is have or has, 
been and the verb ing. So, what have you been doing for fun lately, Jackie? Not much. I've been working really hard for the past year. Okay. In fact, I haven't taken a vacation in over a year now. Very good, very good. All right. Now, everybody has a notebook? Yes. Are Ismael? Yes. No, man, not not the student book, the notebook. All right. Yes, Andres. Since you don't have the book yet, just take a screenshot or something. All right. Well, let me, let me tell you the instructions, okay? I want you to answer the questions one to five. With your own information. I will give you my examples and then you do your own. Okay? For example, number one, who do you admire the most? I admire my father the most because he treats my mom really well and he is a good family guy all right that is my what well, that would be my answer for number one number two have you ever met anyone famous no i've never met anyone famous But I would like to meet Luis Miguel. Three, when did you get a good workout? I got a good workout last night. I did 30 burpees. 50 push-ups, 50 squats, and 100 abdominal workouts. Or, what do you do for a living? Right now, I am a I am teaching and also selling iPhones. And number five, what have you been doing for fun lately? For fun, I've been going to the... For fun, I've been going to the beach and, well, no, not really. I can't go to the beach anymore. For fun, I've been watching Franco Escamilla on YouTube. Andres, write your answers in your notebook. And then, and then type it into the class because I know you can't use your microphone. 
But Ismael and Jackie. Oh wait, Ismael. Hold on. Let me let me be clear with the instructions. Ismael and Andres, you can write in the chat pod because you can't use your mics. Jackie, please use your notebook. Then I'll give you the opportunity to speak. And sorry, I'm speaking so slowly. I'm speaking as I type. You don't admire anybody? Man. Not even Naruto. All right, so um, take three minutes to write your answers. While you do that, I'm gonna get some water. Andres is lucky.
All right, nice, nice. Number three and number four and number five. <laughs> Come on, guys, give me number four, number five. All right, Jackie, are you finished? Yes? Yes. All right, would you mind sharing with the class? Number one, who do you admire the most? I admire my clients because they are smart. Okay. Two, have you ever met anyone famous? No, I haven't. When did you get a good workout? <laughs> Two months ago. Two months ago, what did you do? Um, my PE exam. Your PE exams? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, what do you do for a living? I don't know. I'm a student. What? Yes, you are a student. And what have you been doing for fun lately? I've been checking Facebook or Instagram and watching videos. Yes. Are you going to be a TikToker or no? No. <laughs> I I would be a TikToker. I just I need a better phone. I need Andres's phone so I can be a TikToker. Um, well, thank you so much, Jackie. Now let's take a look at your partner's stuff. For fun, you've been playing Call of Duty every day? Nice, nice. I know I'm sitting there with some kids. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. Well, it's almost time to go. How do you feel 
this lesson is it easy medium or difficult is it mine? all right good good Well, for your homework, yes, I'm sorry, you have homework. For your homework, I would like for you to do pages two and three in the student's book. Send me a picture before the class starts, please. Like, for example, if you do it tonight, it's okay, you can send it to me tonight. Um, if you do it tomorrow in the afternoon, it's okay, send it to me tomorrow in the afternoon. But, you know, please don't do it while we are in the class because I have to be attending you. Is that okay? Okay, great. Well, Thank you so much, guys, for your patience, for volunteering. Um, I think today was a better day than yesterday. My computer, on, I had a little problem with my computer in the beginning, but um, it worked out at the end. So thank you for your patience and thank you for attending. Um, please take your precautions and any doubts you have, please send me a message, okay? Well, I have to go so I can begin my next class. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.